If you were to lose your entire makeup collection and you had $200 to repurchase makeup, what would you buy? Now today I'm going to share my list, but the reason why I chose a $200 budget for this video is because realistically speaking, if I really were to have lost all of my makeup, I would not want to spend more than $200 to get my essentials, but I also want to have quality products for what I need. So for example, as you'll see in this video, the most expensive product in this video is a foundation. And that is because I was not born with the clear skin gene. So foundation, like a good high quality foundation is really important to me. And I wanted a budget that would take that into consideration without unnecessarily overspending. Obviously this is just a budget that I set for myself. This number will be different for different people, but this is just my budget and my list. But I wanna ask you guys, if you lost all of your makeup, what would you repurchase and what would your budget be? I'd love to hear it. So let's just get started with the video. Um, so all of the makeup that I would repurchase fits in this like little bag. Actually, you could fold it in half and everything would fit in here. How awesome would it be to have all of your makeup fit in one bag? This was honestly inspiring. I was like, wow, should I declutter my makeup? <laughs> but anyway, let's start with the first item. So the first item is the Lancome Tante Idol Ultra Wear um, 24 hour foundation. I love this foundation. It is tried and true. This is such a great foundation for all skin types. Um, I have oily skin, well, like combination oily. And what I like about this foundation is it doesn't have a finish that's too matte. It has like a really nice natural finish. So the finish is not too matte to where it like makes you look one dimensional, um, but it's also not a dewy finish, which if you have oily skin, you, the obvious reasons why you would not want a dewy finish on your foundation. So I really like this one. It doesn't um, cling to dry patches or anything like that if you have like dry skin or combination oily skin. So I really, really like this for my skin type and it lasts all day. It says it's like up to 24 hour color and I would say that's pretty accurate. I mean, I've never worn this foundation for 24 hours, but I've worn it for like, 18 hours it was still on my face and it still looked i you know what i'm saying also this color i'm in the color 435 bisque warm and it is pretty accurate to my skin color um a lot of foundations have a tendency to oxidize really red so like by the end of the day i look like super red or like orange um this one doesn't do that so that's why i really like this one i think you should invest the most money in your base makeup so foundation and concealer um just because that is going to be the canvas you know what i'm saying like you could just put on uh foundation and concealer and a little bit of mascara and like you would be good to go you know what i'm saying so the product that you should spend the most money on in my opinion is like a foundation and concealer now i do really like the l'oreal true match which is ten dollars um that's probably my favorite uh drugstore foundation i really liked using that foundation but if we're talking realistically like if i really were to have lost all of my makeup I would want to buy my Lancome foundation. <laughs> so now we're going to get into a concealer that I would repurchase. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. This is my favorite concealer of all time. It is a liquid concealer with a doe foot applicator. I love this one because I use this under my eyes. I smile a lot, like I'm very expressive with my face. Um, so I need a concealer that like doesn't crease and this one does not crease. This concealer does not crease at all. You don't even need to set it with a powder. Whereas with other concealers that I've tried under my eyes, you absolutely need to set those concealers with a with a powder. And if you, you know, are on a budget and you don't want to buy a powder just to set your concealer, just get a concealer that doesn't need to be set with powder. Okay. I will say though that if you are going to use this to spot conceal, I don't think this is the right product for that. Um, you might want to use like a cream based concealer as opposed to like liquid one. This is just really for like underneath my eyes. Okay. So this was $47. Yeah, $47. I'm very used to spending a lot of money on foundations because again, I was not born with clear skin. Um, and then this is $29. So these are definitely the most expensive products in this video. The next product that I would repurchase is a beauty blender. 
Um, I don't have one to show you right now because they're all dirty and I don't want to show that on camera because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but the reason why I would buy a beauty blender over other tools is because a beauty blender is way more versatile than brushes. So if I were to purchase brushes, I would have to buy a foundation brush, a concealer brush, um, a powder brush, a blush brush, a contour brush, whatever. Beauty blenders are so versatile, they have multiple uses. So you can use beauty blenders to apply your foundation, to blend in your concealer. You can use them on for cream blushes, for cream contours. They're like, it's a very versatile tool. And um, if I were to repurchase my makeup on a budget, I would just buy a beauty blender because it just, it does it all. It really does. And beauty blenders are $20 which is not bad considering, you know, one brush could cost you like $10 if you buy it at a drugstore. And if you have to buy five brushes, that's gonna be $50 as opposed to $20 where you could just use one little egg. <laughs> okay, so the next product is the Sephora Collection Brush Tip Liquid Liner. This is the waterproof version, or actually I think this is I think waterproof is the only one that they have. What am I saying? <laughs> this is one of the best eyeliners that I've used, especially for this price. This is $14. One of the best eyeliners that I've used. If you are a viewer of my channel, you probably already know by now that winged eyeliner is like my thing. I've been doing it since I was in high school. It's just my signature little part of my beauty routine. I always do a, a winged liner. So because of that, I have tried probably every single liquid eyeliner you could imagine. I've tried the Kat Von D one, the Fenty Beauty one. I've tried all of the drugstore ones. I've tried uh, the Hourglass one. I've tried the MAC ones. I have tried like every single liquid eyeliner that you can think of. Um, by the way, my favorite drugstore eyeliner is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, two-in-one eye booster. Um, that one I think is like $10, this one is $14. There's not really that big of a price difference, so um, just decide which one you want, I guess. This eyeliner, it is waterproof. Um, I wear this to my acting class all the time, and in acting class I cry a lot because we do a lot of dramatic scenes, and after my scene, my eyeliner is still there. So if there's any um, case study for how waterproof this is, there you have it. So I think that you should invest most of your money in like base makeup and then everything else you you can kind of be like more frugal with. What I like about this eyeliner is that it's only $14, but it also is just like really great quality. Um, I went to, I'm in Sephora collection Troop, Troop SC. Um, this video is not sponsored. I'm giving you my honest opinion about these products. Sephora collection products are like made in the same factories as like some of the high-end brands. They're made in the same factories with very similar ingredients and formulations. Um, the reason why Sephora Collection products are so like inexpensive, I guess, in comparison is because of the packaging. If you've ever used like the Hourglass um, eyeliner, the packaging's very heavy, you know, it's like made out of aluminum or whatever material that is. And like, you know, they spend a lot of time on the development of the packaging. Um, whereas with Sephora Collection, like you just get like your basic, it's, it's what you need, you know what I'm saying? There's no frills. If you want a good product, like here it is, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no like extra packaging or like extra frills. It's just a good product. So I really love this one. This is one of my favorite eyeliners of all time. The next product that I would repurchase is another Sephora Collection product. I have been using this for like the past three months and I love it. Um, this is the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil. It is also waterproof. I'm in the color, this is important actually, Soft Charcoal. Um, this color is very important uh, to me <laughs> because it fills in my brows and it gives me like a really bold brow but it doesn't look ashy. It's not too black, like it's not too dark. It's like the perfect color for my skin tone and my hair color. So if you are of a similar color palette as me, um, get the soft, the soft charcoal. But what I really like about this is that it is waterproof, so it's gonna stay on pretty much all day. I've never had an experience where I've used this and like my eyebrows were gone 
at the end of the day. It glides on very easily and it has a great color payoff without being too intense. Because some other eyebrow pencils, like if you do one stroke, it's like a black line and you're like, oh my God, my eyebrows look insane. So I like that this one doesn't do that. <laughs> also, this is only, how much is this? $12. This is a pretty good product for $12. Okay, the next product that I would repurchase is the Glossier Cloud Paint. God, this one is so dirty. <laughs> but it shows that I use it a lot, right? <laughs> uh, this is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. I love this stuff ever since they released this like four years ago. I don't know if anyone remembers this or if anyone knows this, but I was like one of the original Glossier girls. I f worked with them for the first time in 2015, like... I love Glossier, okay? Um, I don't love all of their products, but like the products that I do love, they're really great. <laughs> so I really love the uh, Glossier Cloud Paint. This is a water-based um, blush. It's kind of like a cheek stain almost. The way that I apply it is I apply some to the back of my hand and then I do like that, do like that to kind of blot the color so it doesn't like make me look like a clown when I apply it, you know what I'm saying? So I do like that, do like that, and then I do like that. I just tap it on my cheeks and it stays on all day. I don't, I don't think I've ever had an experience where like this didn't stay on because it's water-based and it kind of works as a stain. It kind of just like stays on your skin until you wash it. So I really love this one. Also, I really like that it, you could use your fingers to like you blend it in, or you could even use a beauty blender. You don't need like a separate tool, like a separate brush to um, apply this. Like you could literally use your fingers or your beauty blender. So I really love the Glossier Cloud Pants. The next product that I would repurchase is the Glossier Lash Slick. I think this is my favorite mascara of all time just because this gives you volume, length, and definition all in one mascara, and it is also water resistant. An issue that I have with a lot of mascaras is that it like gives me panda eyes, like the, it transfers from my eyelashes down like underneath my eyes, and I look like tired. <laughs> I look not alive, I look pretty gone. Like I should not be on this earth anymore. I hate smudging and this mascara does not do that. Oh, I also really love that this doesn't clump. Um, a lot of like volumizing mascaras like clump a lot and it's just, it's not pop, it's not sexy, you know, it's not sexy. So I really like that this one lengthens, defines and volumizes without clumping, without smudging. This is just a really good mascara. Oh, I wanted to mention that the reason why this lengthens, the reason why this uh, mascara lengthens is because it is a fiber lash mascara, but it's not like as intense as a lot of fiber lash mascaras. Some fiber lash mascaras are like, really intense for no reason. It's like, oh my God, calm down. This one is very subtle, but very pretty. It gives you like that feathery effect. I actually have it on my eyelashes right now and I love the way that it looks. It's just, that is just one of my favorite mascaras, y'all. And that is $16. All right, so this is number eight. This is another product that I would repurchase. This is the Tower 28 Beauty Shine On Lip Jelly. This is the clear one, but I love all, pretty much all of the colors. This is my favorite lip gloss. Well, to be fair, I'm not really a huge fan of lip gloss in general, but this is my favorite one. This is my favorite lip conditioning product, period. It keeps my lips moisturized all day. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. It glides on your lips like butter. It just keeps them moisturized all day long. I love using this at night. Like I'll apply this at night after my skincare routine, after brushing my teeth, and I'll wake up in the morning and my lips are not chapped. And then I just like reapply it throughout the day and it just, ugh, we love this. And these are available at Sephora now. You can buy these at sephora.com. So I'll leave everything in the description box down below, but this, ugh. Mwah. No pun intended, because you know it's like lips. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I was actually going to end this list at number eight, but then I realized that I still had $30 left in my budget. So I was like, ooh, cool. <laughs> so I decided to add the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Like I said, my concealer doesn't really need to be set with powder, but I have oily skin, like here, 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 and here, basically my T-zone gets so oily. 
and um, I really like using the Laura Mercier powder to kind of like set my makeup here in the places that I get super oily um, to kind of absorb the oils as they arise. Also to just like soften the pores and like make it look a little bit more like smooth. Now, for the sake of this video, I had to add the mini size because the mini size is $23 and this is $39. So this standard size went over budget by $9. So I put the mini version on my list for the sake of this video, but I will say that if you travel a lot or like you spend the night at people's houses a lot and you need to like have your powder, I would actually go for the mini anyway because I have traveled with these standard size ones before and it's it's not fun not only does it take up a lot of space because it's big but it also like the surface area of it is so big that it creates such a huge mess the mini version is just better if you are going to be taking it on the go you know what i'm saying this is all the essentials this is everything you need for under 200 dollars, and you're going to use this for a very very long time This is inspiring. <laughs> anyway, those were the products that I would repurchase if I were to lose all of my makeup and have a $200 budget. <laughs> Again, I wanna ask you guys, what would you repurchase and what would your budget be? And also like, I'd love to hear why you chose those products, obviously, you know what I'm saying? I, I'd love to get some insight from you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.